Welcome back to another college football video in which today we have the battle for Washington also known as the Apple Cup between the Washington Huskies and the Washington State Cougars. Let me know in the comments below who do you guys think will win this game in real life and what do you guys think the score will be. If you like this type of content like and subscribe it really helps the channel out as we are trying to hit 1000 subscribers. Appreciate all the support, and so without further ado, let's get straight into this one and see which team will come out on top. Let's get it. Wazoo will start off with the ball to start off the game, and here on third and four, the quarterback airs one out to the left sideline and completes it to his receiver, number three, who flips the field and takes it into Washington territory at the 47-yard line, and he had a perfect pocket from the great protection in the o-line and they are trying to go hurry up offense to keep the husky defense on their toes here on first and 10 the quarterback has a play action pass and will try to take a shot to the left side of the field and the ball is high pointed and picked off by the washington defender and it looks like he will outrun the entire wazoo defense and we'll get a 89 yard pick six and that is Jackson number 25 with that pick six right there as he celebrates with his teammates in the end zone Washington will score the first points of the game and take a 7-0 lead over the Washington State Cougars and let's take a look at the replay right there as the defender cuts off that throw and just outruns the entire wazoo offense on that play great individual effort right there to get the first points on the board great job by number 25 as he celebrates with the w's up here on third and four wazoo has time in the pocket works the right side of the field and gets his feet in bounds it'll be a first and ten for washington state at the 36 yard line they are quickly motioning men's to step on the other side of the field and we have a play action pass on the play as the quarterback completes it over the middle to his receiver number seven flipping the field and taking it into husky territory right around the 38 yard line and let's take a look at the replay right there as he had a nice pocket and the receiver beat the defender on that coverage getting the inside leverage great job by the receiver on that play here on second and 10 they're going to hand the ball off to the running back who finds lots of space down the middle and will rush up for the first and 10 and this will be the end of the first quarter as the huskies have a seven nothing lead over the cougars it is now third and goal for washington state they hand it off to the running back who fumbles the ball and it is recovered by the Washington State offense and it'll be fourth and goal at the two for them and they set up for the field goal try right here as Husky Stadium goes electric looks to be a fake and they are not gonna get it the Husky defense stands strong and prevents them from scoring here on second and five the quarterback has time in the pocket and will work the left side of the field as the receiver beats his defender and is only stopped by the safety on the play let's take a look at the replay right here to see how it unfolded quarterback had nice protection in the pocket and the receiver had open space for the nice reception here on first and ten the quarterback hands it off to the running back who finds space up the gut getting past the first line of scrimmage and getting the first down at the 24 yard line the quarterback now airs one out down the middle but the pass is broken up by the linebacker here on first and 10 the quarterback has time in the pocket surveys the field and dumps it off to the middle of the field and they will be yard short of the line to gain now it is second and one the quarterback tries to throw it down the middle but throws it into double coverage and is picked off in the end zone as it'll be a touchback now 
with Washington State taking over at the 20-yard line. Husky Stadium now goes silent after that turnover. Let's go take a look at the replay right here to see how the middle linebacker Tariq al ukda came up with the interception. and He just got in front of the receiver and straight at the ball for that nice turnover. Wazoo is trying to put up points before the end of the first half and they get into field goal range and are on the board. The score is now 7-3 in favor of the Huskies heading into halftime. Huskies get the ball to start off the second half and here on third and nine the quarterback tries to take a shot and the pass was initially caught by the receiver but broken up by the defender and Washington will now get off the field and punt it back to the Washington State offense. Here on third and three the quarterback has time in the pocket and will check it down to the flat and complete it to number one as he gets to near midfield and gets a first down for Washington State. Here on third and five, the quarterback has time in the pocket and will work it down the middle of the field to number 15, and it'll be a first down reception for Wazoo as they are having a promising drive as we are nearing the end of the third quarter. This will be the last play of the third quarter as the quarterback tries to scramble around in the pocket but can't get the ball off in time and is sacked for a second and 17 on the next play. And let's take a look at the replay right here to see how Jacob Bendez got to the quarterback. He did a good job fighting the block of the guard and gets to the quarterback with due time. It is now 4th and 15 for Wazoo as they set up for a field goal attempt. There is a flag on the play, however, it looks to be running into the kicker on Washington's side, and this will set up Wazoo with a first and 10. What a mistake by the Washington defense at an inopportune time. Washington's defense hold up once again, and Wazoo is forced to settle for a field goal attempt, and the kick is wide right. And Washington maintained their 7-3 lead and what an inopportune time for Washington State's kicker to miss on that play. Wazoo's defense get a three and out and here on second and ten they give their offense an opportunity to try and get into the end zone with just under a minute remaining. Here on second and ten the quarterback has time in the pocket and airs one out to the middle of the field. The pass is caught by number 24 Matthews and he will take it to the 8 yard line setting up Washington State with a first and goal and take a look at the replay right there quarterback had a nice pocket could have checked it down or could have thrown it to the slot for a touchdown but great gain nonetheless with 30 seconds left here in the fourth quarter and here on second and goal the Wazoo quarterbacks in the pocket and tries to force one into the end zone but is picked off by number 25 on Washington's defense and that will seal the game with 24 seconds remaining and Washington State having no timeouts left. Let's take a look at the celebration with his teammate as well as the replay right here as that was his second interception of the day cornerback Elijah Jackson the junior and that's a pass that the quarterback would love to have back as that was only second down. Washington's offense will be led back onto the field and they will most likely run the ball and try to run out the clock. That is exactly what they are going to do here as the Huskies are going to defeat the Washington State Cougars 7-3. Let me know in the comments below who do you guys think will win the Apple Cup and what do you guys think the score will be. If you like this type of content, like and subscribe. It really helps the channel out as we are on the road to 1,000 subscribers. Appreciate all the support and if you're a fan of college football and the NFL, stay tuned as we'll be covering both all season long. Appreciate all the support and we'll catch you in the next one. Take care.